Hello. All right. All right, here we go. So uh, what you want to do now first is to add a camera. Um, it doesn't really matter what kind of camera, so I'm going to add a physical camera. I'm just going to click and drag. The target is going to be the 7-Eleven. So what I have here is my representation of the 7-Eleven right here. This is the ground. This is the rocket launcher. And if you can imagine there being a a hand around the rocket launcher. So we got to do a couple things. We have to first detach, if you haven't already, detach the uh, actual rocket from the rocket launcher. So if you're in that situation, here's how you would do that. I'm going to select the rocket launcher. I'm going to go into these polygons, and I'm going to select the polygons that represent the rocket, and I'm going to hit uh, scroll down and find detach. Now I'm going to get out of polygon mode. I'm going to click on this rocket, and I'm going to recenter the pivot point. So I'm going to click on the third object here, hit this button, this button, and then I'm going to click here. I'm going to move this up a little bit further. You're going to notice that there's a gap uh, that needs to be capped. So I'm just going to select that object, select the border, and then click cap here. And now I'm going to move it back into place. Okay, so I'm going to go into camera mode, which is C, and I'm going to adjust this the way I need to. And now what I'm going to do is add a, a bomb. So I'm going to press Alt-W to go to a different view. I'm going to press P in this view up here. Press F3, F4 to turn all that stuff off. Alt-W to go into this view. I'm doing that so I can maintain this view right here down in the lower right-hand corner from the camera view. And I like this view, so I'm going to keep it so I don't want to screw it up. So I'm just going to go up here, press Alt-W. And now what I'm going to do is go to um, the systems icon right here or space warps, and then I'm going to change this from forces to geometric deformable. I'm going to click bomb, and I'm just going to click anywhere, and I want to drag this thing to the point of impact that the rocket's going to hit it. So in this case, it's just going to be in the front of the building. And this is very easy. Uh, with this selected, I'm going to go up here to the bind to space warp. I'm just going to click on this, and I'm going to click, make sure I click on the bomb, and I'm going to drag to the 7-Eleven right here. Okay, so now with this still selected, I'm going to press uh, W to get out of the, the space warp. So I'm going to click on the Edit tab here. And the strength, the first option is the strength of the explosion. The spin is how these particles are going to spin. Um, the fragment size is the min and maximum size that they're going to spin apart. Uh, gravity is 1, and the detonation is at 5, meaning that this thing is going to blow up at 5 frames right now. So if I drag it to 5, you're going to see it's going to blow up into pieces. The strength affects how far it blows up, so if I take this strength and I change it to 0.25, you will see that at 5 frames it doesn't blow up as um, like it did. And if I change the minimum frac fragment size to 4, and then I change the max to 9, You see it blows up in pieces. So what determines how this thing blows up is the geometry. So if you wanted to change the geometry of this thing, um, what you could do is tessellate, and you could fragment this thing up. Okay, I think I may have just. I think I may have just f froze the program, so maybe uh, we're not going to do that. So we'll just keep it like this. All right. Um, so that's what determines when and where this thing's going to blow up. So if I want it to blow up, let's say 10 frames, I'm just going to change this uh, detonation to 10. I'll change the seed here and see what happens, and add a little bit of chaos. Anything that we can do to change this up. Um, it's going to be good and make this stuff spin. Let's just say 90 degrees and see what happens when it blows up at 10. So it looks a little more realistic, I guess. All right, so now um, I'm going to go back into the camera view. So I'm going to press Alt-W. I'm going to click down here in this window, Alt-W this. I'm going to click on the rocket. And since this thing blows up at 10 frames, I want this rocket to be in the building at 10 frames. So I'm going to press Alt-W again, and I'm just going to move this thing First, I'm going to press auto key. I'm going to hit a keyframe right here at this spot uh, for this rocket to start. I'm going to go to 10 frames, and now I'm going to move the rocket into the building 
at the point of impact and I'm going to change the scale so it looks like it's getting smaller. And then I'm going to go a frame over and I'm going to change the scale to zero so it disappears. So an easier way to do that is to go down here and where my mouse is moving around right now and type zero and then press enter. So now if I were to maximize this viewport right here, press alt W, I'm going to turn off auto key and I'm just going to press play. Okay, so that's the gist of it. And that is that.